Hello? Can you hear me? The song Hello, released by Adele in 2015, has so far accumulated 2.6 billion views on YouTube. Hello? But 138 years earlier, in August 1877, just before the first telephone call in the world was to be made, there was a crisis brewing. The question of techno etiquette had to be answered. What do you say to start a telephone conversation? The answer was offered by none other than Thomas Edison, who said that one should simply say, hello? Since then, hello has become a customary way of greeting someone, like, hello, and welcome to our second launch event this year. It was only two months ago when we released our new 8 series. This series was, as Tina Turner would say, simply the best. Silky smooth matte frosted glass on the back, that glacial green I was on the fence about. At first, the interstellar glow with millions of colors display. Mm. The moonwalking smooth 120 hertz fluid display with 10 bit color depth, that's 1.07 billion colors. That's a billion, with a B. Tres commas, that's all shades of gray in 50 shades of gray. Wireless charging, finally. 50% in half an hour cameras that blew you away. Admit it, you love it. And there are so many reviews to confirm that simply the best statement from MKBHD or Forbes or CNET. You have been patient waiting for the new 8 series and we thank you for that. In India, we have been working extremely hard to get you that experience as soon as possible. And you have rewarded our efforts by snatching the phones the moment we release them for sale, both offline and online. You, you might be even watching this on your new 8 series device. <laughs> but we are not here today to talk about the phones. Mm. We are here to talk about the OnePlus TV. And to tell you more about OnePlus TV strategy, please help me welcome Navneet, our India Chief Strategy Officer. Take it away, Navneet. Hello everyone, it is wonderful to have you all join us for the launch of the much anticipated OnePlus TV series. In the last six years, the OnePlus team has received immense love and support from our Indian community of users who share our never settled spirit. We truly believe it is our community that makes OnePlus better every day. Last year was a stepping stone for us as we expanded our product offerings. After constant feedback from the community, we launched our first connected ecosystem portfolio with the OnePlus TV Q1 series in India in 2019. And the response we received from India consumers was truly incredible. Let me share some statistics with you to corroborate the point. Not just that, in a short span of one month of launch, the OnePlus TV Q1 series took 13% of the India smart TV market in the 55 inch and above category as per the counterpoint research report. We are amongst the top five premium smart TV brands today in India. In the 55 inch and above and price segment of 50,000 and above as per the 2019 shipments. India is an important market for OnePlus and we have further strengthened our foothold in the country. In August 2019, we opened our OnePlus R&D center in Hyderabad and made a commitment of investing rupees 1000 crores in the region. Furthermore, aligned to our belief of giving back to India users, we continue to strengthen our focus on the Make in India initiative. Our latest and successful OnePlus 8 series flagship 5G phones are manufactured in India for our India consumers. And aligned to this Make in India focus, our smart TVs are also being manufactured in India. It is truly a surreal moment for us here at OnePlus to see our months of hard work and creative effort finally coming to life. And we are very happy to bring forth 
our latest offering to our community in India. Thank you. Over to you, Tillin. Thank you, Navneet. What a guy. For past 31 years and 684 episodes, The Simpsons have been airing on TV. I love to watch them. They're, they're eerily accurate in predicting the future, and, and they're funny. They're a dysfunctional, functional family. Don't! For 684 times in the introduction, Homer, Marge, Lisa, Bart, and Maggie are rushing back home from various parts of the town. Their paths home are always the same. Once they come home, the scenario is different, but they always, always end up sitting on a couch of sorts in front of the TV as a family. For 684 times, as Homer would say, when will I learn? The solutions to all my problems are always on TV. And the solution for our quest for seamlessly connected community was presented last September with OnePlus TV Q1, our very first smart TV. Uh, we want to thank all of our community for your continued support with Q-Series. If you want to go fast, go, go alone. But if you want to go far, come on, let's go together. Thinking that we can create the best products for our community without our community, is not in our DNA. Since 2013, when we released our first device, we put on the box one sentence that rings true now more than ever before, create it with our community. Because we know that by co-creating with our community can we create truly the best products. Now, I know that the times of Samurais and Ninjas are long gone. But this last March, we introduced the OnePlus TV product, Ninja's Plan, where we hope to find passionate community members to help us co-create amazing products in the future. And today, you will see the first fruits of this co-created labor. Presenting to you, cue the drums. We don't have the drums? We really don't have the drums? Never mind. Presenting to you, the OnePlus TV U1. It is a box, but it is a new 55-inch 4K screen we've achieved burdenless design with rich color performance and brilliant picture quality, as well as a new Android TV experience co-created with our community box. First, something that distinguishes OnePlus TV from all TVs on the market. Premium display or window to the world. You can judge it by many criteria, brightness, contrast, gray uniformity, black uniformity, reflections, etc. But for us, one thing stands out. Color. Imagine Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory without colors. All, all candies would look the same and golden tickets would simply be tickets. Imagine Karina Kapoor in a movie heroine where she wore 130 different dresses and put that into black and white. Imagine watching World Cricket Finals in a grayscale on a TV. I, I, I know, I know, I know. It's a blasphemy to even think about that. Color is a decisive factor in whether TV looks good or not. You could say that the richness and accuracy of color are two essential features of any high-end TV. So when someone mentions color performance in TV, they probably think about color gamut, which is a range of colors. Most TV programming works in a color gamut called Rec. 709, and through the years of development, the great majority of TVs in the market can achieve 100% 
of Rec. 709 gamut. But if you want a more natural and impactful color, Rec. 709 gamut isn't enough. For that, you need an even wider gamut, like DCI-P3. DCI-P3 covers 26% more of the visual spectrum compared to the Rec. 709. And that's a lot of colors. And all, I mean all cinemas, are using DCI-P3 gamut to show you the films. So if it's good for cinemas, it's good for us. Next time when you're in the cinema watching 83, remember, DCI-P3. So if you want a more natural and true-to-life viewing experience, you'll need a TV with DCI-P3. There's just one thing. No one in this price category has been able to achieve 100% of DCI-P3. Yet. No? Not even OnePlus. We are close, though. Everything with DCI-P3 above 90% is amazing. Here are some of our fearless competitors who have managed to achieve this great feat of getting DCI-P3 above 90%. Samsung RU8000 with 90.17%. Incredible, Samsung! Sony X850G with 90.72%. Unbelievable, Sony. But I see your 90.72% and I raise it to 93%. That's right. OnePlus TV U1 with 93% of DCI-P3. Crushed it, but uh, expect it. If you want us to reveal you how we did that, we use K2 SAF6 phosphor material to adjust the wavelength and frequency spectrum. We call this OnePlus cinematic display. Snowpiercer on Netflix will be having rich, true, and more natural color performance. Try it, and when you do, you will see that we have also added HDR10, HDR10+, and HLG. To top it off, Dolby Vision, which will optimize your picture frame by frame to deliver an amazing picture quality with high dynamic range and most vivid true-to-life colors. Pass that test. We have also developed an image quality optimization engine called Gamma Engine. No, it's, it's not one thing. It's the whole package. Let me tell you. Animations run smoother, MEMC imaging effects are reduced, noise is reduced, super resolution is handled, color space mapping is done, dynamic contrasting is there, anti-aliasing, but this is not a spelling bee, so you don't have to memorize all those words. Gamma Engine does it for you. And since it packs so much power in it, we have added nine modes you can choose from for your picture. Once we all have our friends coming over to our houses again, only to lose in a game of FIFA, you can try how it feels to play the game with only milliseconds of input lag. That's what our Gamma Engine does to you. It makes you a winner. Yeah. We didn't stop there. Nine modes. Watch sports, sports mode. Watch Netflix, film mode. Watch cheetah documentary, vivid mode. Watch slot documentary. You figure it out. But buyer beware. OnePlus cinematic display. 55-inch screen, 4K resolution, 93% DCI-P3, patting ourselves on the back. Gamma Engine doing things for you. Dolby Vision certified. Buyer beware. These great features can cause overuse. Watch with caution. Oh, you cannot hear me? And that's why the sound is incredibly important. I tried to watch The Greatest Showman with Zendaya, Zac Efron, and the, 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 the Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, and it doesn't work without the sound. Dancing is nice, but you lose out on never enough. And I can never get enough of that song. So don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself and accompany that outstanding image quality with high-quality 30-watt sound system. Two full-range speakers and two Twitters. You know what? I have to tell you. You will find out sooner or later. Our TV is too thin to fit traditional down-facing speaker designs. So we've come up with an innovative acoustic design where we rotated the speakers 90 degrees. By doing so, we managed to fit in two much larger full-range speakers than their traditional size. And in the speaker world, you know, bigger is better. As a result of that, 
Our base is now 50% deeper compared to the speakers with traditional design. Yeah, that base is now better than ever. And the sound has Dolby Atmos. Still remember that beautiful design of our Q-series? That beautiful premium design? Well, it's back in our U-series. We live in the age of minimalism. We don't want the big, bulky things occupying more of our space than necessary. And that's why the only piece of technology hanging on the wall of your living room should be a symbol of pride, of beauty, of minimalism, symbol of burdenless. OnePlus TV U1 does just that. It gives you what you want from your TV, a burdenless portal into other worlds. What you see here looks simple and elegant, but it took countless hours to get to that, to, to remove all the details that were not necessary and to create that burdenless experience for you. They're there, the, the bezels. You cannot see them. <laughs> That's because the screen occupies whopping 95% of the front for your viewing pleasure. The edge uses aluminum alloy engineered as a single body with a minimalist outline. That brings our thickness to only 6.9 millimeters from the sides, both left and right. But you were not told the truth until we came along. TV has a backside, and on OnePlus TV, back is a strong alloy with carbon fiber pattern. Not a single visible screw on it. Beautiful. Also for your viewing pleasure. But where are the ports at? We hid them behind the cover. They're there when you need them and not when you don't. You know what I say, out of sight, out of mind. And if you want to use your TV on a metal stand, well, you'll be so happy to hear that we have made it out of a high strength metallic material. Screen frame, thickness, backside, hidden ports, stability, all of these features we just talked about have one thing in common. No detail is too small. It is the only piece of technology that deserves to be beautiful in your living room. Uh, that and OnePlus phones, of course. OnePlus TV U series comes with the latest test Android TV version. On top of that, we have added multiple custom OnePlus apps that will enrich Android TV's features and experiences, like OnePlus Connect. OnePlus Connect allows you to seamlessly link your phone and your TV and use your phone exactly as you would a remote. OnePlus Connect gives you more features than a traditional remote can. For example, get a keyboard right on your phone or the volume drops down automatically when you have a call come in. Hello? Or take a screenshot from your TV and send it straight from your phone. And with the upgraded OnePlus Connect on U1, we have expanded its range so now you can link up to five phones at once, including the iPhones. I know, that day has finally come. So next time, when you and your family are watching TV, you don't have to fight for the control of the remote, because all of you have their own, including the family members with the iPhones. As for the Oxygen Play, Oxygen Play is OnePlus's own video platform. And here you can look for the video content from multiple other platforms like Z5, Eros, Hungama, all the way to Amazon Prime Video without the need of going into each one of them separately. When you find what you want, you just press and hold OK and you will see the description and either play it or just go back. And this is one of those features that was co-created with our product Ninja. So thank you Ninjas for that. We have added content calendar, so you can subscribe for shows and find new episodes faster. One of the main reasons why I, I never look at the photo albums on TV is, um, is hassle. Getting the photos from your phone onto your TV, ugh, you one solves that. And it doesn't give you one solution, it gives you two options. So you can choose. First, select photos in shared album and share them to your TV and watch them straight on your TV. Or second, if you're not by the TV, like say you're out and traveling, good old days, 
you can send the photo to your family back at home by simply choosing share to my TV at home and a notification will pop up on their TV for them to see the photo. It's really easy. Now, there is no excuse for you not to view your photos on your TV. Data Saver Plus. Disable background data of selected apps, set data alerts, get data usage statistics on a monthly basis. And with smart switching on Data Saver Plus, you can watch as much as up to three times of streaming video as you would if you used normal data. When I was a kid, my favorite time of the day was 7.15 p.m. Because that is when every single day a TV channel would play daily Tom and Jerry cartoons. And my parents were funny in that way. Whenever I did something bad and I needed to be punished, they didn't take away my Legos. No, because that was too easy. <laughs> they waited until 7.15 p.m. They turned the TV on with Tom and Jerry playing, and they asked me to go to my room and close the door. I could not get my daily fix of Tom and Jerry. I could, I could hear them playing on TV, but I could not see them. I would cry on end. It was the harshest punishment ever. That was my parents setting up a kids mode on our TV. So now, if you have kids, you have kids mode on your OnePlus TV U1. Who came up with it? Our product ninjas. Give app permissions to your kids. Set timer for your kids. Turn on the low blue light mode for their vision protection. When I was a kid, you could read about those features in a science fiction novel. Now, I know you want to see some action, so if you'll follow me to the living room, I'll show you what this beast of a TV can actually do. Come on. Finally, living room. So if you have OnePlus TV, you also have OnePlus Connect on your phone. Go into your OnePlus Connect, go into the remote control application of it, and turn on the TV with a press of a button on your phone. You don't even need to use the remote controller. Just use your phone. Any OnePlus phone will be do. Any iPhone will do. That's right. So let's first go into the Oxygen Play, OnePlus's own video platform. And here, let's look for some interesting movies, like um, mm, Just Mercy. So I go up. I press Search Movies. Wow, the keyboard popped up on my phone. So I don't need to find letters and numbers on the TV. I have it right here on my phone. OK, I want to find mm, Just Mercy. It's a new movie. I, I would love to watch it. So um, Just Mercy found it like Batman would say, first try. And now, what you do is, pay attention, press and hold. And this, this is one of that features that was co-created with our product ninjas. That's right, it's your choice. Watch it or go back. Because I don't have that much time on my hands, I'll just go back, okay? I go back. Now, I want to show you more features, but I don't want to go into the main interface. I want to go into the settings. No biggie. I just press on the three line and hold it. Whoa, what just happened? There is a menu. And I just go into the network and internet because there is one thing I really want to show you. I think you really need to know how to set your data alerts because someone can go bonkers by binge watching Netflix. And that can cost you a lot of data. So just go down and try to find that new feature we just added on OnePlus TV, and that is the Data Saver Plus. Now, Data Saver Plus is already on now because I was watching and I wanted to set my data alerts. So if you see, you can control your bandwidth. You can set the data alerts on, let's say, 500 megabytes. You can even customize the amount of data you want to be alerted about. You can also see your data usage statistics on a monthly basis. And you can also add apps that are going to notify you when the data limit is reached. If you have kids, there is a kids mode on your OnePlus TV U1. So what you do is like you exit the network part of the settings and you go down, you go into more settings. Wow, kids mode. 
What do we do here? Well, we set up some restrictions for your kids. First, you can allow them to access certain apps and have restrictions over some other apps. Aside from the app restriction, what you can do is like uh, you can limit their time. I know what you really want. I think you want to protect their vision. And if you want to protect their vision, just go back, turn on the eye protection. And that's kids mode. Make sure that your pin is not the same as mine and that is zero, 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 zero. Uh, it's really easy for kids these days to actually figure those pins out. So be smart about it. This is a great feature and there are so many more amazing features on this TV but I'm not going to show them to you because I want you to discover them by yourself. Now, if you don't mind, I just want to go back to the regular programming, aka I want to tell you what's coming next. So if you follow me back onto the main stage, we'll wrap this up, okay? Come on. the most powerful smart TV system you can buy. Most of the features we just talked about, including the Data Saver Plus and Kids Mode, will be available in our next OTA update. So all of you who purchased the OnePlus TV Q series, you will be able to enjoy them as well. The all-new OnePlus TV U1. It is a box. But it is a new 55-inch 4K OnePlus cinematic display, Dolby Atmos with 30-watt sound speakers, and a new feature-laden Android TV OS with burdenless design box. But wait, what if you cannot fit 55-inch TV in your home? Or if you can, will you be sitting too close to it? Don't sit too close to the TV. Isn't that what your parents always told you when you were a kid? So what is the safe distance? Jury is still out there on that one, but it is somewhere between one and a half and two and a half times diagonal screen size of your TV. What does all that have to do with anything, you may ask? Well, for the past six years, we have been creating our products together with our community, with you. And we have expanded from phones to TVs, occasional hoodies as well. Today, one last thing that we want to show you is one more TV. That's right, and it comes in 32 and 43 inches. It is perfect for your living room, bedroom, kitchen. And fun fact, smaller TVs are great for gaming, especially first-person shooter games, according to multiple gamers. Because you can see the whole screen without the need of moving your head around it. WFH, Women Field Hockey. Of course, it's not. It's working from home, everybody knows that. And when you are working from home, you are the boss of your own office, which means no pants. 
and the biggest possible work screen in the house. All 32 or even 43 inches of it. Bet you cannot get that at your regular workplace, can you? 32 and 43 inches are the most popular TV sizes in India. As a result, there are numerous 32 and 43 inch TVs on the market. But if you dig a bit deeper, you will be surprised. Among all those TVs out there, it is really hard to find one that offers exceptional experience and is still affordable. Specifically, we found that the smaller sized affordable TVs generally have three problems. First, PQ. No, no, not PK the movie. Yes, I loved both Amir and Anushka in it. PQ as in picture quality. Picture quality is an essential part of a TV, but in most affordable smaller size TVs, if you look at their manufacturers for more than a screen size or resolution, you won't hardly find any useful information about picture quality. We think that this is simply not right. Second, the operating system. Even today, most of the 32 and 43 inch TVs on the market do not have a dedicated smart OS which will allow you to watch your favorite content using platforms such as YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus. Nor could you use Chromecast to simply just cast the content from your phone onto your TV. Third, and this one may not come as a surprise, most affordable smaller size TVs are simply ugly. We never settle. That's right. So when we decided to go on a quest to bring you 32 and 43 inch TVs, we said that we needed to address those three problems. We pondered and pondered and we tried different solutions and then Eureka moment hit us. We found the answers to the problems and we incorporated them into the OnePlus TV Y series. And the first answer is that amazing, never compromising premium design. Smooth, consistent, flawless, ideal, uninterrupted, harmonious, or in a word, burdenless. OnePlus TV Y series uses the same premium bezel-less design that is mostly found on higher priced TVs. By optimizing the backlight design and using strong metal frame, we got rid of those annoying bezels surrounding the display. Looking from the front, OnePlus TV looks like a sheet of glass. It is alluring, appealing, dazzling, exquisite, fascinating. Or in a word, beautiful. Trust me, you won't find prettier 32 or 43 inch TV. OnePlus TV Y also has a OnePlus cinematic display. Similar to our OnePlus TV U series, the Y series packs a class-leading panel with an amazing color performance, which means that now you can enjoy the most vivid colors while watching movies and TV shows. 43-inch version has 93% of the CIP3. I mean, most of the high-end TVs cannot achieve this number, and here we are with 93% DCI-P3 in a 43-inch version of TV. 32-inch has an amazing picture quality and color gamut compared to the competition. It is to no surprise, as it can also achieve 93% of DCI-P3. And what would a TV be without a gamma engine? Which means dynamic contrasting, noise reduction, color space mapping, anti-aliasing. It is all there. So you can just kick back and relax with Space Force on Netflix. Is it relaxing though? You know what? Put where's Waldo wallpapers on your OnePlus TV Y series and try to find Waldo. But use the wallpapers before the social distancing began because now Waldo needs to stand six feet apart from everyone else. It is so relaxing to look for him now, though. In addition to great picture quality, both Y-series models are coming equipped with two 10-watt speakers, giving you a sound power of 20 watts. Did you know that the TV box acts as an amplifier of sorts for those speakers? At the same time, we worked with Dolby and brought Dolby Audio to both of the Y-series models and now they have stereo sound. That's a rare if not impossible find in many similar sized TVs on the market.
It includes features such as the volume leveler, dialogue enhancer, and virtual surround for a more immersive experience. You won't find that many features on a TV from the future if you go to Chandi Chok, no matter what the seller tells you. And now, please help me welcome Ashim from Dolby to tell you about Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, extent of our partnership, and how we performed. Take it away, Ashim. Hello, everyone. I am Ashim Mathur from Dolby Level Please. It's always a pleasure to be a part of OnePlus events. We were together last year, and we are again together this year, launching the exciting new lineup of televisions. I think this, this partnership and this collaboration is what it is today because both Dolby and OnePlus share a common passion, a common passion of creating spectacular consumer experiences. Well, if you recollect last year with the Q-series launch, which had both Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision, we take the next step today with the U-series, which comes with both Dolby Vision technology and Dolby Atmos audio technology. And not to forget the Y-series, which come with Dolby audio technology, giving consumers an absolute fantastic choice, which they can pick up now with OnePlus televisions. Not to forget the new Y-series, which also comes with Dolby audio technology, which gives consumers a crystal clear 5.1 Dolby surround sound experience in the comforts of the living room. So if you take the entire range, I think consumers have fantastic choice uh, and pick up the best technology which they want and at an affordable price. Well, talking of content, uh, I think that's that's also important because uh, a lot of these televisions really use and uh, consumers like all of us use these TVs for the content we watch. There's huge amount of library of content, multiple hours of content now available in both Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision technologies with all the glo global OTT services and a lot of local Indian services also offering content with Dolby audio technology. So all in all, great content, and great device and as a combination that creates the consumer's wow. Uh, we wish the OnePlus team all the very best and as always, happy to collaborate with you. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ashim. Just like in our flagship series, the Y series uses the latest version of Android TV. Android TV is the world's most popular OS and for a good reason. Now you can install and download your favorite platforms on your TV from YouTube to Netflix to Amazon Prime Video to Setbox and local players, which means that you can watch as much of your favorite content as you wish without the need for a separate box. Boxes, schmoxes. Google Assistant is here to help you find information, weather forecasts, calendar events. But there is one thing Google Assistant cannot help you with. Where in the world is Waldo? We also have Google Play, where you can download your heart's desire, mostly for free. And Chromecast, when you're watching a video on YouTube and then you pause it midway through it, a notification will pop up on your mobile phone asking you if you want to resume viewing that video on your TV. That's Chromecast. And just like in our other OnePlus TVs, the Y series comes equipped with OnePlus custom apps like Oxygen Play and OnePlus Connect, as well as Shared Album. It will fit perfectly into your living room, bedroom, kitchen, study room, drawing room, bathroom, anywhere you want to place it, because it is the OnePlus TV Y series. It is smarter TV with burdenless design and high PQ. Not PK, PQ, picture quality. And unlike other TVs of the same size on the market, it does come with premium bezel-less design, excellent picture quality, and most vivid colors. It does have the latest version of Android TV OS with OnePlus Connect for a more seamless connection with your OnePlus phones and other iPhones in your family. As for the price, there's no two ways to go about it. It's low. As simple as that. For the OnePlus TV U-Series, the price is $49,999. And now for the Y-Series, ooh la la, 43-inch version is priced at $22,999. And best for the last, right? 32-inch version. That's as low as we will go. It's priced at, it's low, right? What do you mean it's not low? Just, just look at it. Wait, that's not the right price. What just happened? It must be something I clicked. Wait, yeah, 12,999. I told you it's low, as low as we will go. And now for the sales, when you can actually get one, well, when we are developing our products, 
we have our users in mind, not just in the product development phase, but also what happens after the sales occur. And that's why you'll be very happy to hear that our after-sales service now allows you for a unified delivery and installation. And you can schedule it in select cities. And if you need more support for your OnePlus TV, you can just go to your OnePlus Care app. To echo what Navneet mentioned, we are so happy to announce that we are commencing our TV production in India under the program of Make in India. So folks, you and why series. But before you go offline, I would like to paraphrase Joey from Friends and ask, you don't have a OnePlus TV? Where is all your furniture pointed at? To the wall? Well, here are some excellent choices for your wall, from Q to U to Y. Smarter TVs, smarter choices. So, never settle. What is up guys, my name is...